I am Hardik Bahat. I am the Chief Information Officer for the City of Chicago and I am the Commissioner of the Department of Innovation and Technology. I'm on the Mayor's Cabinet and my job is actually to oversee the investment that the city makes in technology. Uh, my department takes care of all the uh, computers that the city uh, personnel use. Uh, we take care of all the, the entire network that the city has, the wireless network. Uh, at the uh, at the libraries that we have, the free Wi-Fi and everything else. This school is not in my job description. Uh, when I looked at my job description, the things that I do does not have anything to say that Hardy, you're going to focus on technology education. Why I'm in here is because of the passion of one person, and that one person is my boss, Mayor Bailey. The mayor does not just talk about education does not just talk about math and science and technology in the press conferences or in front of people. He really believes that math, science and technology, these are the three things that will make our next generation competitive in the, for the 21st century because frankly, and Terry will tell you more about that, we are, now, we are not competing with the kids, other kids in Chicago. We are not competing with the other kids in the US. We are not competing with the New Yorks and the Houstons. We are, in this generation, we are competing with the Beijing. We are competing with Bangalore. We are competing with Seoul. We are comp competing with all those Western European countries. And we are competing with all those countries where there's a lot more focus on math, science, and technology education. So I want to commend you that you have prepared yourself to prepare yourself for the future. And you are here, you have tried to make sure that you get a chance, you take this chance to be in the Technology Academy. This academy would not also have been possible without a huge support from the other sectors. The government is doing a lot to uh, make sure that we focus on this education. At the same time, last March when the mayor asked me to leave, uh, putting together a proposal for the Technology Academy in front of the CPS, I, I knew that I could not do this by myself. So I reached out to the private sector. I also co-chair Mayor's Technology Advisors Council. In this council, I have uh, CIOs from companies like CNA, Boeing, Baxter, Blue Cross and Blue Shield, Microsoft, Google, Oracle, all the big companies in the local, uh, in the Chicagoland area, as well as all the national international technology companies. I reached out to them, I asked them, the mayor wants to open a technology academy, would you help? Before I knew, we had 76 private sector companies right there to support with to us. Valerie Taylor from CEW is here. We've got, I got Unisys. I, where's Unisys? I saw Unisys somewhere. David, David, I don't see, oh there, there it is. And if I forgot anybody, please, and, and ITA, I, I, and Terry, I won't steal your thunder. But then I reached out to, we, we, to Terry Howard and Fred Hope, they basically, uh, oversee the Illinois Technology Association and by, by the time, I, it, it took me about two months really to get about 40 businesses on board and have them help us with the curriculum, have them help us, have them commit to us in terms of all the students that are going to go through this program uh, have opportunities for, for internships in these organizations, have opportunities to shadow these big CIOs, have the opportunity to being mentored by these private sector people. And then Terry came along, and suddenly our commitment, the company, the private sector commitment, went from 40 to 100. He brought 60 plus companies onto the table. So this really would not have been possible with all these people that have supported uh, us. One person that you won't hear from the floor today is Joan Metz. Joan Metz here. What Joan does in the city, she is a uh, program manager in the city, and she manages our reporting architecture. So all the data that we collect from various systems, that data has to be reported to our managers to be able to make some sense. And she manages that. I just asked her, hey Joan, can you help to put this proposal together? And maybe maybe two months, three months, you know, to work. It's been a year. She, she is working relentlessly to make this happen. The reason I'm trying to bring these things up is, we are very, very passionate about the technology education. You are very passionate. I know the way we have seen, get, gotten the response about this technology academy. We want to make this successful, and you are the ones who is going to make this successful. If this is successful, 
We want to replicate this. We want to have more technology academies. We want to have more math and science academies and want to make sure that our future, our next generation, is focusing on the three key pieces of the future, math, science, and technology. And that really would not have been possible without the Center for Polytechnic Education. That is the partner, that is the entity that is going to run the school on a day-to-day -day basis. So let me in invite Matt Hancock, he's the executive director for the Center for